Welcome to Blue Water Health's pre-surgery intake and assessment class for patients receiving knee replacements. Today you will learn about your surgery, what to expect after surgery, and how to prepare beforehand to have the best outcomes possible. There will be a short quiz at the end of the presentation to make sure you understand all of the information. Please be sure to read and listen to each slide before advancing. Preparing for surgery. Preparing for surgery. Possible equipment needs. There is a lot of helpful equipment that will improve your independence after surgery. Each surgeon has slightly different requirements after surgery and will provide you with a list of required equipment. The occupational therapist will also recommend equipment for home based on your functional status post op and the surgeon's recommendations. This list may include a standard walker, cane, crutches, raised toilet seat, versa frame, shower chair, or tub transfer bench, reacher, shoehorn, or elastic shoelaces. Preparing for surgery. Surgeon specific equipment needs. A few of our local surgeons may require you to purchase a knee brace, sheepskin, or anti embolic stockings. If you are required to have any of these items, your surgeon and or their office will let you know. If you are required to purchase anti-embolic stockings, you may want to consider purchasing two pairs. Preparing for surgery, rental purchase locations. There are a few local stores that may be able to rent or purchase the equipment from if needed. They are listed on this slide. If you are from out of town, please review the stores in your local phone book or search for them online. You can also sometimes find equipment through a local legion, service club, or from family and friends. Please note the Red Cross no longer rents equipment. Preparing for surgery, definite equipment needs. All patients having a total knee replacement must bring to hospital proper footwear with an enclosed heel and non-slip sole, preferably with laces or Velcro, so that the shoe can be adjusted for swelling in your foot as needed. Clothing should be comfortable, loose, and appropriate to wear in front of other patients. Shorts are best following a knee replacement. You will also have to have a gait aid at home, most likely a standard walker. Preparing for surgery, your home. To prepare for surgery, it is also important to modify your home environment to ensure you are safe when you return after discharge from the hospital. If you live in a multi-floor home, it may be easier for you to stay on the main level while you recover. Since you will be walking with a walker after discharge, it is important for you to make sure you have clear pathways around your home to allow for space for you and your walker. You may need to move furniture to create clear pathways. Eliminate trip hazards, including items on the floor and scatter rugs. Preparing for surgery. Exercises. Before surgery, you can do exercises to strengthen your leg to prepare for and make it easier after surgery. Please make sure your focus is on exercises within your pain limits before surgery. Preparing for surgery. Community supports. Before your total knee replacement, you may want to arrange for transportation. If you are anticipating you might have difficulties, or if you live alone, you may want to look into assistance with meals or prepare meals before your surgery. Preparing for surgery. Home and community care. Home and community care are able to help you navigate any concerns you may have after you discharge home from the hospital, including respite stays. For more information, please contact Home and Community Care at 1-888-447-4468 or visit erie-stclairhealthline.ca. For surgery, driving and car transfers. After surgery, you will not be able to drive for six weeks as per your insurance policy. 
Please get directions specifically from your surgeon regarding when you can start driving again. We have also listed some advice about entering your vehicle. While in hospital. While in hospital, parking. Blue Water Health has parking available with a maximum daily rate of $7. While in hospital, parking. You may wish to purchase a parking pass before. Depending on your needs, there are four different parking pass options that can be purchased at patient accounts located behind Tim Hortons in the atrium. While in hospital, pain control. After surgery, our goal is pain management, not elimination. The team will provide you with pain medication to keep your pain under control and allow you to complete your rehabilitation. While in hospital, after surgery. Your rehab team will provide you with equipment to use while in hospital, including a reacher, shoehorn, standard walker, and equipment for you to do physiotherapy exercises as well as learn strategies for personal care tasks. Please do not take this equipment home with you when you leave. After you arrive back on the floor that evening, the nursing staff may get you up into a chair and or help you walk to the bathroom. Walking. Physiotherapy will assist you in regaining your walking after surgery. Most people use a standard walker at this time. The pattern is always walker forward first, then step with your operated leg, then step with your non-operated leg. Over the course of your hospital stay, an occupational therapist will complete an assessment as well as review functional transfers, strategies for getting dressed with or without adaptive aids, home management techniques, and car transfers. They will also identify any additional equipment you may require for home at the time of hospital discharge. While in hospital, after surgery day one, physiotherapy will get you up and walking. We will review the orders from your surgeon and let you know how much weight you are allowed to put on your operated leg. We always bring a chair when we are going down to therapy on the first day for safety. While in hospital, after surgery day one, you will complete 20 repetitions of each exercise, strengthening your thigh, bending your knee, and straightening your knee. We will measure how much bend and straighten you have in your knee and write it on the board in your room for your surgeon to review. We will come to your room for a second set of the same exercises later in the afternoon. While in hospital, after surgery day two. You will continue with the same exercises as the day before, but you will increase the amount of repetitions, add a calf stretch, and practice the stairs. While in hospital, stairs. We will practice the stairs with you. All you need to remember is up with the good, down with the bad. Discharge day. While in hospital, discharge day. Patients usually discharge home day two after their surgery, not including the day of surgery. For example, if your surgery took place on Monday, your discharge date would be Wednesday morning after therapy. Your nurse will review all discharge instructions and occupational therapy will review equipment needs prior to going home. After discharge. After discharge physiotherapy. After you are discharged home, you will be expected to continue the exercises you are doing in hospital three times per day. 
please continue to walk with the standard walker and do not start using a cane until you are advised to by the physiotherapist you are working with in the community or your surgeon. After discharge outpatient physiotherapy. Before your surgery, you should have a physiotherapy appointment booked for seven to 10 days after your date of surgery. If you're coming back to Blue Water Health for your physiotherapy, we will set up an appointment for you before your surgery. What to expect. What to expect. Proms. Patient reported outcome measures. You will be asked to complete some surveys along your journey with us at Blue Water Health. They will take less than 10 minutes to complete. If you are asked, we hope you will be willing to complete the surveys. What to expect, your incision. Your incision will be closed with staples. The staples will come out approximately 14 days after surgery. When you leave the hospital, you will have a bandage on your incision. It is to stay on and only be changed if it gets wet or falls off. You cannot bathe until the staples come out. Plan to sponge bathe for 14 days. Please monitor your incision for signs and symptoms of infection and notify your surgeon if you are worried you might have an infection. Please refer to your total knee replacement booklet for a complete list of signs and symptoms of infection to watch for, which can include increased redness, swelling, and fever. What to expect, gait aids. Most people quickly transition from a walker to a cane and by four to six weeks, most people are not using anything to help them get around. What to expect, pain. Please use your medication, rest and ice to manage your pain. You should expect that you will have some pain or swelling and tightness for six to eight weeks after surgery. Quiz. Please take a moment to take the quiz below and test your knowledge on your upcoming surgery. Thank you for participating in the online education session for your upcoming total knee replacement. If you have any questions, please contact Adrian at phone number 519-464-4400 extension 8100.